Hey there, guys. Welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watch. It's actually another live stream episode of Bobby Legs. And uh, hopefully uh, everyone's doing well this evening. Hey, Marcus, can you hear me? Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, I'm doing good, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm such a boomer, man. I'm such a boomer. I'm trying to, I'm trying to use a, a proper camera, right? As you can see me, yeah. it, it's a good, but then I have like the other, uh, my other <laughs> avatar there with the volume and audio yeah. and I can't, I can't get the two to, <laughs> I, just can't make it, I just can't make it work, man. <laughs> you know, cause uh, the other camera is, uh, is grainy. So anyway, hey, um, welcome to another live stream on Tuesday night. Um, thanks for joining me, Marcus. Um, no hey, what do you um, what do you got on wrist this evening? Uh, I've got my Pam. Uh, one, oh yeah, one thirteen. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. The, uh, well, with the red. Awesome, awesome. Gator. It, uh, yeah, th thank you for wearing that. I actually, I probably should have worn my Pam this evening, but we're going to talk a about Pams a little bit today. We're talking about our favorite Pams out there, and, and I've gotten quite um, the uh, response from from uh, a lot of the guys who who've, uh, who've uh, added their 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 choices uh, to to the mix. Uh, hey, Amin, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, guys. Yeah, yeah, you're it, you're not seeing double. I'm 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 still trying to. I'm like I was explaining to Amin in the chat. I mean, uh, Mark's in the chat. I'm I'm a, I'm a boomer. I'm trying to. <laughs> You know, I, I just I, I can't I can't get the audio for this camera right here, yeah, uh, to to work. So I have to have the other one going. Yeah, so uh, I like it. Camera, yeah, I, do well, Bobby likes. Yeah, well, I hope this is not too much of a, a distraction. Hey, um, what do you have on wrist this evening, man? What else with this topic today? Yeah, I'm um man, I'm uh, wearing the Pam. I I I blew it. I blew it. I, I didn't wear my pants this evening. Oh man. Um I'm wearing my uh my Damasco. It's, it's kind of Pam uh, Pamish. Yeah, Pam, kinda Pam kinda like, kind of yeah. Pamish for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, I um you know the kids were home all day today because of the snow. Yeah. And so um getting them to bed this evening was was a little bit of a hassle. So I barely made it on tonight. So I really didn't think through what I was gonna be wearing. So Apologies, um, but not a big deal. We're all friends, right? So, um, hey, let's let's say hello to the chat as we always do, and then um, let's get into our favorite Pams. Uh, Symphony of the Devil. I thought tonight would have been a Zen 2024 release prediction video. Aren't they dropping new releases in this? Yeah, they, they'll be dropping uh, releases. Um, I guess it'll be like in the middle of the night here in the U.S. Uh, you know, I, I'm never since me, I'm I'm never really good at these prediction videos, right? Um, especially um I mean with Rolex, it's kinda like everybody does it, right? But with Zen, like I have no idea what they're gonna be putting out, you know. Um I wish I was privy uh to that, but um but I am looking forward to the, the, the releases uh tomorrow morning, waking up and seeing some releases. Hey Rick is here, how you doing? Rob Mountain Center time is here. Hey Bruno. Good to see you, man. Way Ben, greetings all. Still wearing the Satori Billiard. And you know, I have an Atelier event went on its way. Apparently, it's now in New Jersey. So mm. close. Nice. Um uh yeah, the video looks much better. I just can't get rid I just can't get rid of this guy over here. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know how to do that yet. Uh Ken is checking in for I can get rid of him, but then my my audio cuts out. So uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Finney's here. How you doing? Uh, good to see you. Um, Caliber is here. Peter C is here. Uh, Canadian Watch Monkey wearing his Pam 380. Thank you, uh, Canadian Watch Monkey, for putting that on. Appreciate it. Ken is wearing his Sayosa, the Citizen. Um, uh, I like Pam Puvi, Puve. Uh, Mr. Acasio says. Uh, That's an Archer reference. Is, is it is it an archery reference? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve Time Hill is here. How you doing? Uh, yeah, my my twin. Um, yeah, he looks like he has a little bit more hair there on the top of his head. So I'm I'm a little jealous. Um, well, hey, anyway, you know, last week, you know, uh, talking about our 
uh, favorite Kronos or our grill Kronos was such a huge success that a lot of people reach out to me, liking the fact that um, there was a lot of participation from from uh, from the chat and uh, from the Bobby Legs Discord and, and and some of my other watch friends uh, giving their picks. So we feel like you know maybe we can ride this ride this wave a little bit more. And um, hey, I love. I love talking about Panerai. Panerai is a fun watch. Marcus, you have one. Amin, you have one. Um, there's something charming about them, right? Right, Marcus? We should, have, we should have a group watch, and Joe and Colin need to do something about that. Yeah, yeah, right? We, we totally, totally should. But but, but before we get into it, like, you know, uh, you know, Marcus, like, you know, what 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 attracted you to, to your pan? Um, I wanted a, uh, a manual wind... Uh, I just wanted a, a Panerai with the the, man, the manual wind and yeah. the, the Luminor, so um, it, it came down between the uh, the black and the white. I don't know whether I settled or not, um, because it was kind of uh, right watch at the right time. Like we just got married, and then I found a new old stock, like never worn, never owned, yeah. one thirteen. So I pulled the trigger on it. Could I have waited for a one eleven, maybe, um, yeah. or a one twelve? But I, I'm pretty happy with with um my 113 yeah. um the, the white dials are pretty good and if we're if we i don't know whether are we going to do uh three collection three pam collections because if we do probably it's going to be in my um hypothetical collection yeah i mean uh, they do white dials pretty well so they they do yeah i mean some of the entries that we have given us have given me three three watch i mean i i put down my three um pam, um collection um so yeah for sure i mean like if you want to kick us off marcus um and, and uh so are we talking like attainable pams or are we talking about like i wish i had this pam in my collection um like well, it's like an unattainable yeah. like grail pam yeah no uh, the, okay i'll tell you how much uh, how i approach it i approach, i just like three pams that i like you know what i mean like and uh you know i don't think but they're, they're, are... they have to be in a collection eh you can you can go you can do whatever unattainable you want. if yeah. you want. You can go anywhere. So so I yeah. I did an I did an unattainable and then I did a okay an attainable. Um, sure. Like so, each of them has their um, each of them has their uh, analog, their attainable analog. So um, my Grail, well, sorry, my my Grail Pam collection, money not an issue. Um, I probably keep my one thirteen because I think mm -hmm. it's it's got. Um, it's got a lot of Panerai history. It's got a lot of Panerai DNA. It's got the Unitas uh, manual wind that has been um, decorated by Panerai. So I think you have, like, that's that should be the first Panerai someone buys. Like, I yeah. think that should be your baseline, Pam. Yeah. Um, and it's got a white dial. Um, it's, you know, twenty st standard 24 strap. Um, it's got, like, most of the straps out there are just 24. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's 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 great, and since we, we've got three, um, I don't have to get a black dial um, with with my my Unitas Pam, right? If I were to if I were to just do one one Panerai collection, I'd I'd probably go black dial, probably the one eleven. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're gonna do multiple Pams, I would say we start off with the one thirteen, get that white dial, get that Unitas out okay. of the way checkpoint. Yeah. Um, I think the next step you gotta go you gotta go one from each collection. So the next would be Luminor for me. Um, the quintessential luminor is the the grail luminor is obviously the the 21 um 47 millimeters platinum um but most importantly it's it's got the eight day manual wind and it's got the the gilt hands um and it's got no seconds hand so again it could it's basically like you know panerai's greatest dress watch <laughs> um so the, the 21 would be um my my rayumir pick um, if I had to do something attainable, probably I'd go with I'd drop down to the 610. Um, so very similar to the 21. It's not in platinum, but it's got the eight day manual wind. Uh, it doesn't have the gilt hands, but it does have it's it's just a two a standard two hander. Um, it's got a uh, a sandwich dial. Um, so again, I I love that. Um, if I can't get the 21, which you probably can, most of us can't get the 21, right? What was it? What was the other reference, Pam? Uh, the 610. So very similar. But again, the, I, I I think that um, the the twenty seven the the um, the twenty one would be um, would be um, my mm -hmm. my dream Pam. Yeah, I mean hard hard to, hard to argue with that one for sure. Um, yeah, but I, I mean if you drop down, you can get you mm -hmm. can do the six ten. It's six ten is yeah. more attainable, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, very similar. Um, but it, it just doesn't have those gilt hands. I, I think that um, the two hander with the gilt hands and just that sandwich dial um, on a black dial is, is, is so beautiful on the radio mirror. I think that's quintessential radio mirror. Um, if you could get with Plexi, even better. But again, I'm not a Panaristi, so I can't. I was like, I, I don't know the catalog. I don't know these like numbers, right? It's it's kind of like New Balance um, shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. You're, the numbers are all over the place. Um, you know, you've got a 21 is is you know this platinum um, two hander, and then a 23 is this brutal like you know tw 20 is a sub, right? It's a submersible, so it's like there's no rhyme or reason to the numbering system, so. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I love that. And then obviously the, the Grail third watch would be um, the 382, right? The, the Bronzo, um, the OG Bronzo. You have to pick a Bronzo, I think. Um, this this watch, it's like this watch literally convinced an entire industry of watch guys that bronze watches aren't cool. Like bronze watches aren't cool, okay? Like I think we figure that out. It's just that this bronze watch is cool. <laughs> Yeah. And then it just it just convinced a whole bunch of adult males who with disposable income that you know what bronze watches are cool. But no, they're not cool. This is the only cool bronze watch. This watch is cool. Bronze watches aren't cool. Bronze watches are stupid. Yeah. So um <laughs> if like, but obviously 382 bit unattainable as well. I'd probably um, you know, 1174, right? So the the blue abyss uh bronzo, the one that came out. Uh, boutique exclusive you can it's a little bit more attainable a little bit more wearable right or is it 1170 i can't remember yeah because that wasn't yeah. it <laughs> let's see 1170 see if that comes up there we go so, well, something comes up i don't know um let me see whether i can find it i think well, it's anyway. uh what is it uh, 1074 sorry 1074 1074 Oh yeah. I mean, if you're if you're to cheap out, yeah. but I mean, if you're gonna go OG, you've got to go 382, right? Um. So, again, I'd stick with my 113. If I had unlimited funds, I'd go with the 21, and I would mm -hmm. go with the 382. If I didn't have unlimited funds, probably the 610 and the uh, 1074. Very nice, very nice. Like, I mean, like you know, there's there's so many references, right? Yeah, it's um, impossible. You can you can get lost. It's a, it's I, like a grand takeover. Yeah, but the, so the way I looked at it was you need three <laughs> three PAMs. I think there's you, yeah, you need absolutely. the the Luminor mm -hmm. with the manual wine Unitas. You need mm -hmm. the um, the two hander radio mirror, mm -hmm. and you need the uh, well. I, I think you need a bronze submersible. That's yeah. I think that's you capture everything. Yeah, and and I think you know uh, that's the that's the way I I've, I've, per, uh, I've perceived <laughs> like if I ever got a three Panerai collection. I mean, it's Lum Luminor, Radio Mirror, and and, uh, and Submersible. Um, it's just, it's just, it just works. It, it's just, it's just like they're great three model lines. You know what I mean? And it's just, yeah, it's it's really easy to fall into that three watch collection. Before I get to you, Amin, let's just say hello to more people here. Anish is saying that he's wearing Pan Luminor uh, Quaranta. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, on a new orange accordion strap. Um, Michael Pam 111 or Pam 112, I think. Uh, yeah, referring great watch. to yeah, great, great watch. Um, Colin Fifth, huh? So, so he's throwing Joe under the bus here, uh, making Joe um, get the pen eye um, before him. See, I, I'm conflicted because, like, I feel like Joe is only going to buy like a pen eye due with a, <laughs> 30 millim 30 meters of, of water resistance. Yeah, and I've yeah. gone on, I've gone on like. I've gone on the record saying friends don't let friends buy a thirty millimeter, thirty meter water resistant duo. But yeah, yeah. Um, for the interest of a group watch, I might let it go. Yeah, so, I mean, if if, if if to make that happen, and, and yeah, look, you know, I might I might be willing to overlook. If we that. all have different Pams, is that a group watch? That mm. that doesn't even really count. Mm. It's like if we all get different Rolexes. I don't think that counts. Yeah, I think it counts more, more than with Rolex. Okay. Yeah, right. at least it's something. You know, if, if if Joe gets the duet, I mean, that puts a lot of pressure on Colin, a whole lot of pressure, because you are you are setting aside your your um your 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 stance on not letting a friend get that right. I mean, like you're 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 going out on a limb here, reputationally. You know, yeah. you've made that statement before. You know what I mean? And 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 to allow Joe to do that, I mean, that puts a lot of pressure for on Colin to. 
I think we can get Joe to get a, a, a Panerai. I think we could do that. Like a man's Panerai or? Well, whatever he wants. Okay. <laughs> whatever he wants. If it's a delay, then let it be so. Um, uh, James is saying uh, where the bezel uh, rattle fix. Uh, I, I would, were the bezel rattle fixed, I would buy a Pan 2223, but not at retail. Um, Colin, he would do a gold submersal. No clue what reference that would be. Um, Those do look good. Yep. Especially 100%. with the black dials. Those look yep. really good. 47 millimeter for a dress watch on the radio mirror. Um, I think you have to recalibrate your your sort of standards when it comes to Panerai. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a it's a totally different animal. Yeah. Right? Um, hey, and that's, Kevin, a, that's an ultra that's an ultra thin like eight day manual line so you're probably okay and it's in platinum and it's a two-hander yeah and it looks quite formal yeah uh kevin how you doing good to see you hey brownie's been staring at a pam 513 would be a nice jersey option with my 233 what uh what do you say 513 let's see what that is yeah that looks good okay yeah mm. is that gold yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice watch. Oof. Uh, hard not to pick a California dial too, except I hate them. I I consider it. I consider the Kali dial um, with the radio mirror, but I don't like the case. The case looks a little like mm. doesn't look as elegant as the twenty one or the six ten. Uh, Mr. Finney, he he tried the bronze watch. Can do yeah, it. bronze watches are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, energy watch. Which of the two Bobbies is the evil twin brother? Hmm. Well, we'll we're gonna keep you guessing there. Scott, he's uh, wearing his uh, Satori Billiard SB05 this uh, this evening. Hey, Maison, good to see you. Um, <laughs> I told you to fall. <laughs> uh, Pam Dewey for for Joe for sure. Uh, Dewey don't count. Um, Let's see here. Uh, James is saying he's been waiting for years for the Planet Ocean update, and now they release a boutique editions, new <laughs> colorways with no bracelet. I'm ready to embrace a Panor the Panerai love. Well, we are we are sharing the love with Panerai. Um, oh, speaking of Cali dolls, Bobby, where's the Nomos? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's that. There's a there's a Nomos incoming. To to I'm sure Marcus is uh, chagrin, but. Uh, been wanting one for a while. Uh, one is coming tomorrow. Uh, hey, AZ Clayton, Bob, uh, people forget about the Red Room 1940 series. I recently picked up a 619, and I am enjoying it. Um, I don't think I forgot it. I mean, I, there's just nicer Red Room mirrors that I preferred. 619. Let's get that up there. Uh, oh, yeah. Is this the... Mm -hmm. Well, uh, brought me to another page. Let's see here. Uh, boomer alert. There you go. Three one six one nine. That's a, that's a nice, good, good looking watch. Um, Amen. Hey, yeah, I, I didn't prepare for this. I, that's I think, right. uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with just the Luminor base. Um, yeah, and and I like that it's the 176 is titanium because it's a big, chunky watch and it, mm -hmm. it balances nicely because it's light. Um, although I think I'd be pretty much equally happy with the 111, 112, 113, or yeah. 177. But I do like it's very classic manual line, 44 millimeter luminar case um, with the base layout, you know, no no small seconds and uh, sandwich dial. Um, I was just, as I was uh, thinking about it and listening to Marcus, I, I picked a couple more. Let me share my screen real quick. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, um, I like these black uh, seal ceramic oh. radium ears. This is the 292, um, 45 millimeter. Uh, so if I was going to pick a radium mirror that kind of gives me something different from what I have, you know, this one has the running seconds, the ceramic case. Um, I know people say these break or, or you know, if you bash them and there's trouble, but. Just don't uh, bash them. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and if you do, I mean, it's just a watch. You know, you get another watch. It's not a grail. And then yeah. I would say the um the the, the gold tech forty four millimeter. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the one Colin needs to get. So the this one, this mm. submersible, 
this ceramic uh, radio mirror blacked out, um, just kind of stealth and dressy, and mm-hmm. then uh, old fashioned titanium based luminar would be my my three. Hey, look, I mean, I I like that. I, I give you I, I give you an A, Amon, on your, you. on your because well, you got you you got your I'm not a paneristy either. I'm I don't know the catalog. I just you know, I'm I'm pretty happy with just one basic pan. Yeah. Um, but if I were gonna if I were gonna expand, I, I I'd want things that like you know really bring in a lot of variety in terms of case materials and mm-hmm. and designs. So yeah, I mean, I think I think yeah. both you and Marcus have definitely um, accentuated that that point of different case materials, different looks, and whatnot. You know, going with the gold submersible, going with uh, the ceramic radium mirror, and then going with the base luminor. Um, just it's great selection because that's the thing like you know the 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 thing with the panorama with i've heard a lot of people say who were not necessarily into the brand it's like oh you've seen one you've seen them all kind of right they all kind of look the same we know better we know that there's some nuance there a lot of nuance there and so um when you when you pick a three watch collection, I think you could totally do it with a Panerai collection, and not necessarily call yourself a Paneristi, um, because uh, th- there's a lot of differences with case materials, with with looks, um, you know, the case diff being different, you know, the, uh, between the models, uh, movements, right? Do you do you go vintage, right? I mean, a lot of us like the '90s to 2000s um, uh, Panerais because of the ETA movements, right? I mean, we've heard some nightmare stories. About some of the more recent uh, in-house move, in, in-house movements, right? That, that they had. Um, so um, there's so many different levels, right, to to collecting Panerai that that may not be uh, apparent to somebody who's a, kind of an outsider looking in. Um, can you watch me say that looks like my Pan 380, but mine is in stainless steel? Um, Thomas is saying that he would go with Pam 779 DL, DLC Luminor with California dial, Pam 1385 Randomir with the beige grainy dial. That's a great looking watch. And the Pam 620 Randomir in 1940 with the micro rotor. So, so, so Thomas would go two Randomirs. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm also afraid to buy, James said, the 42 uh, millimeter submersible just because I know, I just know once I do, they will release a 40 millimeter version that everyone will hate but love. <laughs> look, I mean, look, I, I, I've, I, I don't, the 42 is not, the, there's not a big lug to lug here, right? With these watches, yeah. right? Uh, with the Panerai. So, so like my, I have, I have a, a my Luminor is 44 and it doesn't feel anything like a 44. I, um, I have a feeling that people are not going to like the 40 because I think that the proportions are the, yeah, the, the proportions of the, the bezel to the dial will be way off yeah. um, if you go down to a 40. So I, I would probably just buy the 42. Um, you know, the 42, I, I, the 42 is nice. Like, I, I'm just comparing yeah. 42 to 44. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like better. Hmm. That's true, but I, I don't think that going down that the additional yeah. two, two millimeters is go, is going to make it better. Maybe, um, maybe. I think it's probably, probably going right. to make it worse, and I think they yeah. I suspect they probably know that. Uh, not one mention of Fiddy or a pre Vendum. Me, been, been down. I don't know how to say that. Maybe it's coming up. Maybe it's coming up. Um, 1024 submersible for a hobby, uh, 233 Luminor and 8183 Riding Mirror Black Seal 8 Day. Um, Dim approving of that choice. Yeah. The, eight, nice. the, the 183 is, is another one that I like. I like, um, I definitely like the 183. Let's uh let's pull that one up um and share it here. Boomer, boomer. Okay. Uh, this is the one eighty three. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean, great looking, great looking piece for sure. Um, forty four sub is where it's at. That's where I would go. That's where I would go. Um, if I'm going submersible, uh, Pam 127 affectionately called the fitty. All right, let's see. Let's see what the fitty looks like. Well, it just it just says one 1950 on it, and then oh okay, 50 Cent called it his fitty in a interview, I think. Yeah, that's why I mean, it became the fitty. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I don't love the I don't love the aesthetic. Yeah, I, I know it's it's an icon. I don't I don't love the aesthetic. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the 1950. I like the 50 cents reference, and I like even more that Dib made the reference of the 50. Um, not one that I would buy, but I always like the Luminor tourbillons that are skeletonized. Interesting. Uh, Thomas liking the eight day uh, Great Valley secondary as well. See, that's a thing too with uh, Panerai, right? Great, great Valley is on a secondary. Um, okay, so let's. <laughs> Let's jump into and see some of the some of the ones that the the guys have submitted and see Mr. Cassioc. This is his three watch uh, mm. collection. He didn't give me a, a reference number for the first one, but he said any white dial, pretty much. Uh, Panerai, uh, Luminor. He he likes. Then uh, he likes the the Chrono, um, the uh, Pam zero zero seven two. Um, and then the uh, Luminor Pam zero zero three one seven. What do you guys? How do you guys feel about Pam Chronos? It's a no for me. Yeah, yeah. It's, I it's, mean, like it's there's 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 it's always a no for me. Yeah, I don't yeah, even. I, I can tolerate the GMTs, but the, the Chronos are a no. Yeah, I I think it goes back to the fact that like a, for me, like a dive watch Chrono just doesn't really do it for me. Um, and, and I know that I know, like, you know, I mean, I mean they're, they're, are they dive watches? Are they not? You know, they, they had been known as an Italian Navy dive watch, but you know, most of them don't have, or not many of them at all, have a, have a rotating bezel except for the submersibles that I know of. Maybe another, I, I don't know, models here or there, but you don't have your typical diver's bezel on it. So for me, I can't make that mind con that, that connection. Um, with them as a diver, but uh, they seem like really big watches with with really big uh, chronos, and it's just not for me either. But that doesn't mean that you know uh, they're yeah. not great. Um, there, there's some big there's some big Panerai collectors on the forums that have they they've got like the Navy sealed uh, mm -hmm. uh, chronos, and they just love them. So yeah, but, but for, yeah, so there's there's definitely some. It's I, I don't think there's a hard and fast rule in Panaristi that you can't be you can't get chronos. Um, yeah, but for me it's it's a no. Yeah, yeah. So, so what what would you so you would take this out of uh, Steve's uh, three watch collection here, um, and 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 put something else in there. I, would, um, I mean, I mean, I would I would do that. I, I would do that too, Steve. But I mean, like Steve, I mean, like if you like it, you like it. You know. Yeah, it's your uh, collection. It's your collection. It's your three watch collection. Um, moving along, Ajay, he he put in his. Um, oh, I forgot the model number of this one. Did I write it down? Um, I didn't. Uh, this is not a. It's not a one. Oh, it's a five ten. I think it's a five ten. Um, with the uh, eight day and the running yeah. seconds at the nine o'clock. Good looking, oh. classic, classic, classic hat Panerai, right? Yeah. Um, moving quite along, Chas from the Berg. All right. I do like the island. Like I, I do like the seven fifty three. Um, I, I consider that one as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good looking watch. And the thirteen eighty nine also, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and he has he has the the one eleven. Yeah, again, the classic. That's that's the that's one of the icons. The under yeah. it's underrated in every possible way. Um, moving along. Hey, Rob MST, this is his pick, the nineteen fifty. Looks good. I like it. Radium is that a, the radium mirror? Um, no, that's a uh, luminor. I'm, I'm right? sorry, luminor yeah. with the California dial. Yeah. Um, Looks good. Big, Bighorn submersible is a favorite if you can stomach the 47 millimeter size. Uh, 1389 is one of the best. Um, Mr. Finney with Pam, the fewer complications, the better for me. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm with you on that one, right? Yeah. Um, and and okay, here yeah, here's my picks. Here's my whoa, yeah, whoa. I like them. I, I got you know. I mean, I, I'm checking all the the boxes here with the uh, with the Luminor. Um, got the uh, Radimir here and and the Pam. I uh, a friend of mine who was a uh, one of the guys that I knew who were watchmakers like years ago. That's uh, he had the 24. He had the Pam. He had the Simmer. So that thing was a, a a nice nice looking watch, man. Yeah, because that's a, that's like a 7750 base, right? So um, yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, I just yeah. Took out the I, chrono. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 man, I mean, like, it's so, it's so tempting to go this route, right? It's yeah. so tempting, you know. <laughs> I, I was tempted when I was doing this exercise. I was like, 
I could probably add a radio mirror. Like I wouldn't, maybe I wouldn't add the submersible, but I was like, should yeah. I add a black dial radio mirror? Like either like, yeah, I was thinking, I've, I've been thinking about that for a while actually, but the problem is it's like, I think if they took the same straps as my Luminor, I would have already bought a radio mirror. Mm. But to like have to go out and like buy a whole new like coat, yeah. like selection of 26s, it's like, uh, I can probably hold off. Yeah. And, 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 and what's even more tempting is just on the secondary, like the values on the secondary. I mean, like, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can make your, get yourself a nice three watch panorama collection for probably for like under, probably for like under 10. Right. Or, or very close. I, I think it would be difficult to get three that you, that were, that were sufficiently different enough from each other um, for under 10. Yeah. But I, like I think very close. I like these radio mirrors too. This this four two five and and four four nine, this this kind of dot, um, mm. pattern. Very simple. I think I think maybe the first, um, Panerai, with the that that was made had this kind of dial design. Yeah, always appealed to me. So. But the, the, you know the the hard part about it, right? With Panerai, um, for me anyway, is um, just there's so many there's so many references, and uh, and so like uh, it, it's that, and it's like kind of like I'm not really interested in the new Panerai, you know, uh, the last couple of years, and then I know they're trying to do different things, right? They're trying to. I like the new Panerai, but the costs are so ridiculous mm -hmm. that it's mm -hmm. like. You, you really have to look at the Delta and it's like, what? Yeah. They're, because they're, they're competing against their old watches, right? Yeah. At this point. That's, that's a good point. I mean, they're they, competing they, they against really their are. old watches. And it's like, no matter how much I like this Carbotex submersible, mm -hmm. like, am I going to pay, what is it, like 16, 17 grand? Or am I going to get like a, you know, a 1389 for like less than half that price? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, he, he can't do a submersible. Um, Javi Bobby, uh, I wonder what they um, updated from the 24 to the 1024. Hey, can he, he picked his Pan 380 used full kit for 3000 Perfect. Yeah, I mean, the, the 380 is the one I, I, I've been looking at as well. But That's again, um, it's it's a really good, it's a really good, if you don't, like, I, it's got the wire lugs and all that. I just, for me, I, I want a radio mirror without the, the running seconds. Yeah. But the, otherwise, the 380 is, is, is a perfect Pam. Uh, Mike finds himself look, uh, liking the older reference, Luminor and Renderman. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Um, Panama database is great. There is, there is, um, I forget the, 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 uh, the web address, but there is like a, a database um, that is, that is very, very extensive and very detailed. Um, Thomas saying the Pan 425 SLCs is a beauty, but too big at, 47 millimeter new Panerai is too colorful. They should be black and beige, in my opinion. Black and or black and green. Uh, boom. I I I, I hear you. I think I'm with you. I like when I think of Panerai, I don't think of like color, different color dials. You know what I mean? Like I just it doesn't appeal to me. Like I like the black dial or, or the white dial, and and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Best overall Pam is the 233 with the early dot dial. Hobby Bobby agreeing. Agreeing with that. Well, hey, that was that was fun. I mean, like, you know, I like talking Panerai. I never could pass that up. And I and, and I appreciate everyone's uh who sent me pictures and uh and Chad who who are throwing in their favorite references on here. Um uh what do you say guys is there you want to take a look at something anything that new that came in um i've been bad about that i haven't been looking well well you know what that's okay because we yeah. can do Get some hot takes hot takes yeah abs absolutely so let's uh let's get marcus's hot takes on well um let's not do predictions i'm, I'm not gonna no. i don't want to give my opinion on a prediction that's fine that's fine. I, I'm with you. Okay. How about how about some of these Omega boutique editions? Oh, uh, these are yawn inducing. Yeah. I, none of them interest me. I like the gray one there, right there. I like both it's of good, them aesthetically. I mean, I know this is a diver chrono, but uh, that's not bad looking. The gray one looks really nice. The gray one looks very very nice. Um, they're still very big, right? Uh, forty five and a half, forty three and a half. Well, that's not so bad. Um, 
it's it's not enough to induce me to go and buy a boutique yeah, exclusive. It's oh, not exciting. Yeah, I agree. I mean, th this one's compelling. Um, good looking. Watch one word to use. I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, eighty three hundred seventy eight to eighty three hundred on the I guess the base ones, right? And then a little bit more with for the chronographs. So. Um, not ter I mean, uh, not terrible. I guess because you know, yeah. they come up, no bracelet. It's it's gonna. It's be not exciting well. though. It's just no, colors, no, right? Sure. It just flick some colors. For sure, for sure. Uh, I don't even know what lab. March belt lab. Is. It's a bronze sure. watch. It's stupid. Okay. <laughs> That's my hot take. Um, and then the, the other one's it's a Yama. It's stupid as well. So I'm not gonna go very deep into the hot takes. The, the, hey, totally, totally understand. Um, well, it doesn't seem, really seem too much going on out here. First look, we've seen yeah. some of these. Did we talk about the, the Chrono Master Sport Titanium? I don't love it. I, I know everyone was like, oh my goodness, this is the Zenith I've always wanted. But I was like, hmm. I missed it's it. Too, it's too monochromatic. I, I think uh, you, 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 you've uh, you've hit it on, on the head for, for me, Marcus. It is a little too monochromatic. I mean, it's clean, right? It's clean. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I just I feel like I have El Primero fatigue. Yeah, I I actually like I don't I don't love the um the 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 you know the one that looks like a Daytona with the ceramic bezel, but I like it better than this one. Yeah, I don't think this is an improvement on what they have in the catalog. Um, I don't think I'd buy any of them, but um, I I definitely prefer the 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 one that's already in the catalog to this. I mean, it's not, it's not ter it's not bad looking. It's just like, it's just, I don't know. Like I said, I have El Primero fatigue. Yeah. And priced at eleven four. Swiss francs. Yikes. Um, agree to monochromatic. Uh, Rick uh, Scott saying I want to buy an El Primero, but I can't bring myself to do it. It's Zenith, a hard pass. I offer the AD 5K. <laughs> um, I was saying, I love the monochromatic look and would even go bracelet to lean into it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, sure. Sure. Go bracelet. Um, I, I think if you were to get this, you would have to get the bracelet. That's like That's the only way, like... Because you're you're if you get it on the rubber, it's you're like you're caught in between. It's like if you like the look, you should go bracelet. I don't like the look. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, it doesn't look bad on the bracelet. That's that's for sure. Yeah. I just um, it's just so, man, it's just so it's so plain. It's just so boring. I mean, uh, I don't want to say boring, but and I just I don't know. It's pretty boring. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay to say it. <laughs> oh, Dib is correcting his offer at thirty five hundred dollars. Um yeah, the yeah, I I see if if any you're right, the rubber does provide some contrast. I, I agree with that. Um but yeah, again. Um and and, and, and I and I like Zenith, but mm. Yeah. Marcus, did you? I don't think we got a take on on these from you. Um, no. <laughs> like, you know, like a month ago, like we were we were like making Titanic references and Titanic memes for Grand Seiko. Yeah. I think Grand Seiko's past that. Like, is it too early to like make Titan submersible memes about Grand Seiko? Probably too early. <laughs> but I think that's where they're at. Oof. They do As seem to be just rehashing. Remixing, it's too much. Yeah. I think the new Zenith came with a black bezel insert. It would uh, change the look completely. Yeah, but then it would look like something else that they've already came out with, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, hmm. I don't think it's a bad watch. It's just not. It's not a release they needed to do. Um, yeah. And why are you bloating out the catalog? 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think that is pretty much does it for for the new stuff um, yeah. this past week. Um, hey, Amon. Um, one of uh, our favorite segments is what is Amon looking up on eBay? <laughs> uh, do you have <laughs> do you have your uh, your eBay watch list up? I I'm just actually looking. It hasn't changed much since since the last time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been looking every day for some reason I've been watching like what stores are you guys watching frequently? I I've been watching European like every day, sometimes mm -hmm. twice a day. What other yeah. what other stores do you guys look at? Uh well European is one of them. Um toppers for me, but that's it's just once a week, right? Yeah. Um which, which is what I actually like about toppers. Yeah. Like I, I go through the whole cycle, right? I, I go through toppers, Del Rey, um, exquisite, European. Um, I don't even I, I don't go to I don't go to a God or a watch box anymore unless I go through eBay. And why is that? Because the no, prices I, 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 well, I just go to eBay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I just I just feel like it's a much it's easier it's easier, it's, it's easier to make an offer too through eBay, right? Well, True. Well, that that right. Mm -hmm. Um, and you would think they give a better price on Watchbox because they don't have to pay the eBay fee, but it doesn't seem like they do. Listening mm -hmm. to to people, yeah, a absolutely. Um, yeah, I feel like I I can like negotiate right um, on eBay, but I mean I, I just I don't know. There's something about their site um, that I feel it feels a little clunky to me, and and I'm I'm probably in a minority with that, but there's something about it that, that I just rather go on eBay. Um, mm. I think I find it a little bit easier. Yeah, I mean, Finney's saying Nashville Watch is another one. Um, Which you know, one? Nashville Watch. Oh, Nashville Watch. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, like you know, you. So let me let me tell you the the, the story about the the Nomos that I picked up. Um, that that's coming. You know, you know, for for a long time I've been, you know, wanting to get the the club campus. Um, I just I just want it. And, and and there's a whole reason why like I kind of accelerated that uh, recently. Um, I'll, I won't get too deep into it, but I will say is that I, you know I've been thinking about what made in Germany really means, and it's less of a stringent of quite criteria than than um, Swiss made, which is less than uh, made in in the USA or made in America, right? So it's it's just really a promise, right? And and you see that with a lot of the you know, more affordable kind of German watches, right? I mean, there's no German movement in it. It's Swiss, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then they get parts from all over the place. Some some are better than others. Some, you know, have their cases made in Germany and, and other kinds of stuff. So I, I was thinking like, you know, and I, I really would like to get something that's really manufactured and made um, as much as it could be in, in Germany, right? Yeah. And so... You know, um, Damasco boasts, especially with their in-house movement, that about 95% of that watch is made right there in the factory. And Nomos is another brand that, that you know, mm. makes all their stuff in, in, in Germany, so they say. Um, so I have, I have an in-house uh, Damasco, and that's great. And so, so then here comes the, the Nomos, and, uh, and I'm thinking about that one. And someone had said that they, there was some AD who was having a fire sale on on Nomos uh, on a Facebook group and uh, um, with other with other brands, and I thought, well, maybe this is a good opportunity uh, to get that watch because I, that the particular one I, I want with the exhibition case back, um, you know, there's you, you don't really see too many deals on that. Um, I don't want to. I didn't want to get it um, pre-owned because um, you know it's polished and and uh -huh. and and so like I kind of wanted I wanted a new one, right? Yeah. Um. So while I was waiting. Uh, until the next morning to reach out to this AD, I got the number. I looked on eBay, you know, as I do typically, and I found um, a pretty good price on a, on a new uh, Nomos, um, unworn from from Yoma from Yoma shop, and um, and then I was thinking to myself, well, you know, and, and to your point about um, Watchbox with like the fees, and it doesn't seem like you know the fees are d they're different on the site. Or, I mean, the the prices on the site and on eBay store are not far different. So I, so I went to go check Yomasov and see if that was the case. And it was even 
more uh, least expensive, right? I mean, it was like a thirty-one percent off. Now I know I got to pay taxes on eBay, but um, but it was thirty-one percent off, and um, so I had that in the back of my mind. Now I, I know um, I get it through Yoma Shop. I don't get the manufacturer's warranty, whatever. I get their warranty, whatever. It's not that big of a. I'm not making that much of an investment on a piece here. I'm not really too worried about it. It's a manual movement watch. I mean, it's not not too, yeah. too many moving parts, right? Yeah. And so, uh, I, and I promise I'll, 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 I'll wrap this up really quick. Um, so, so I, I reached out to the guy and so like, now this may have been not his words, but the other person's words, uh, who posted on Facebook called it a fire sale. When, when you, when you think of fire sale, like, what do you think percentage wise, uh, what, what, what are you expecting off you, 50, at least 50. Yeah. 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 Same, same for, for you, Amin, 50. I think so. Yeah. At least so four like, at least forty, but 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 mm-hmm. I've seen fire sale refer to, you know, over fifty, right? Sixty. Yeah. So at least yeah. forty, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Like so, I, I need I need David Cross to be in, in the corner shouting fire sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. So so like you know, like I, I like I I, th- I was expecting like, you know, okay, somewhere between thirty and forty, right? Um and uh and anyway, like even if it also ca- depends on the watch, right? If somebody says right. fire sale on Omega, that's different than fire sale on Arnold and Son, right? That's, very, very that's true. true. Very, very true, right? But like fire sale for Nomos, yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking thirty to forty, and yeah, heck, more than thirty, yeah, yeah. And and and, and so, um, Yomashab was at thirty one percent off, right? Um. And I was thinking, heck, I mean, like, even if he goes like thirty percent off, because uh, I don't, he, he, it was a uh, probability that I wouldn't recharge tax. I mean, still a good deal, like right? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take thirty percent off. So you're asking like, somebody to see if they could beat Joma Shop. Well, I didn't ask. No, no, yeah. not directly, but yeah, in your mind, directly. you're seeing can yeah. this guy? Be, and who is this person you're asking? It's 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 a, it's an AD. I'm not gonna I'm AD. Not gonna okay. Mention. It's right, out got of it. state. Got it. Um. And uh, and they came back um, very very gracious, you know, uh, good conversation, like around fifteen percent off. Okay. And uh, I was like, hmm, am I going to pass? It's um, Joma shop time. Yeah. Um, and and I told them I was like, uh, you know, I'm going to pass. Um, thank you. You know, very respectful. And I told them, you know, I found the same watch uh, on Yoma shop for like um, like thirty percent off or thirty percent off. And then he responded back. He's like, "Well, we don't deal with like pre-owned watches, and I and this wasn't a pre-owned watch." Yeah. But I didn't. I just left it at that. I didn't say anything. Yeah. yeah. And and then, and then like an hour or two later, he showed me a. Um, he texted me. He's like, "Oh, well, I got this one, and it was a pre-owned Nomus. Not not the same watch I wanted, but it's something they accepted in their trade." And I'm like, "No, no, I'm good. I don't want pre-owned the watch." And then that's when I told him the watch from Yuma Shop wasn't pre-owned. You know. Yeah. And that's it. And that's how the conversation. Um, ended and it, it's amicable, very, very amicable. But long story short, or short story, uh, or long story long, that that's how I ended up picking up, picking up this Nomos, and and I'm coming, I'm getting it tomorrow. I'm pr- pretty excited about it. You know what I mean? Awesome. I mean, it's not, you know, it's 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 not a world beater, but you know, it's 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 a nice solid piece, and uh, I'm looking to have like my first glass suit watch now. Going back to like what I was saying about like you know having something like that's really German, like the only way I could do that is to go like go up, right? I mean, Glasuta Original, uh, Glasuta <laughs> Original is is probably the best next step, you know, to to achieve that. Like I love I love Benzinger and uh, and and his dials are amazing, and I would buy that watch. Any any Benzinger you offer me, I, and I can afford it, I'll buy it. But you know, most of the time he's using a Swiss Unitas sixty four ninety eight on it, which is fine, which is fine, which is fine. But I just went down this like thought of like you know, of owning something that's German. And look, I know that the Damasco movement and probably the Nomos movement are based on other Swiss movements, and they're just doing some tweaking and making their own materials. But I don't know, I don't know. It might. Am I just babbling? Am I do I make any sense here? It like, makes sense. Uh, no, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I, didn't know I, I still, I still think you should get Howard Myers to uh, write an executive summary about that whole <laughs> buying box. <bar. laughs> 
<laughs> well, uh, How, Howard Howard watches the streams once in a while. Yeah. So, so, um, so uh, Howard can he, summarize it. Give me an executive he'll, summary. Hopefully, he'll comment. <laughs> it. Um, but but I think he understands. You know. Um, so, I understand so, yeah. now. Like, I I think I understand. I'm I'm more forgiving of of the Nomos purchase. Um, hey, if you could forgive Joe buying a, a Due, you know, I mean, yeah. you can. You can forgive me for for, for buying a Nomos. It, it's hey, it's Nomos. true. It's like it's it's hard to get up to to an all German made watch, and Nomos does offer that. It's just I don't really, yeah, I'm yeah. not I'm, I'm not that into German watches that it makes a difference. For no, me. no, I, and and I, and I told and I told the guy I know it's I know it's my thing. I know it's my thing. Um, but uh, you know, I was looking at like my Zin. He bought well. The, yeah, yeah. He, he bought well. He bought pretty I well. Like Nomos. Yeah. I like the watch, and I don't think it's it's not going to impede you buying a Geo because you're going to be able to get your money back. Yeah, if you decide to flip. Yeah, that. I mean, I mean, like not only, so. Not only did I get like the thirty-one percent off, I, I I I used one of these. You know how like you have these browser widgets um, or, or plugins yeah. that that'll find like you know uh, discount codes, and so like it found like an additional like fifty bucks off of. So nice. So um, so yeah. So I thought I thought I did it pretty well, and I had some credit card points because I put it on you know, on the card because I had the points right. Um, and, and so like it knocked down the price even more. So, um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, and, uh, and Dib is telling me to land the plane. Sorry, Dib. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Hey, that, that took up some time. That took up some time. We almost got there. At, at I like the the end, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Hey, what did you guys think of the Super Bowl? Let me get some thoughts, some takes on that. It was, it was a, Good game, competitive game, mm-hmm. lots of drama in the second half. Yeah. Um, you know, some key plays where could have gone either way. That's yeah, the yeah. thing I think is so missed extra point or blocked it, extra point. The missed extra point, yeah. like with like a like a little over two minutes left. The the 49ers, if they got that first down, they could have mm-hmm. pretty much run out the clock and kicked the field goal. Yeah. Uh in in regulation. Yeah. Um the decision to 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 kick on um or, or the decision to to um receive in overtime is interesting and yeah. potentially outcome changing i think what he should have done is when he was in the red zone he should have gone for it and not kicked the field goal that too because then he's bare then even if you fail you're you're buried you've buried him in his and you're you're hope you're hoping to you, you're hoping to not get him to score, right? You're hoping to get them mm-hmm. to punt. You bury them in the end zone. You hope to get to punt, and then you own the first possession in sudden death. Yeah, I think he just, because once once you once you kick it, like you've given him too much room. Like it, because if you if you fail, they're like within they're within their ten yards, right? So they're that's that's a whole different calculus. You've got to defend against the safety and all that. Mm. So again. Eh. I, I think the rules are, are interesting. The, I like the overtime rules. They're interesting. There's a lot of game theory there. Yeah. I don't think it, it's I don't think it's simple as, you know, always defer or always receive. I think there's yeah. there's a bit of game theory, there's a bit of um, in game uh, sort of considerations. Which defense is tired, who came off the field last, all those things. Yeah, and, and look, I mean like we 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 just a kind of side note from that, you know, um, not necessarily about the game, but highly, most highly rated, highly viewed um, Super Bowl in history, right? It was it really? I wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, I didn't know. And, and, and it's and 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 it's got to be. It's got it, what took it over the edge. It's got to be Taylor Swift, right? I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it has that effect, right? I mean, because we've seen this matchup before a couple of years ago, right? Yeah. And we saw this matchup before, you know, and so. Um, it's interesting. It's just interesting to see that, you know, there's probably a lot of people who tuned in, right, who weren't going to tune in for the game. That's has to be the case, right? I mean, like, it's different when you have, like, for dad sure. watch the Super Bowl and their, yeah. and their daughters or sons might be interested because Taylor Swift's on there. They're already watching. The, the house is already watching the game, right? Yeah. Um, so, um it's that that was that i thought that was that was very interesting yeah somebody um, said on nickelodeon they were talking about the game and they referred to um travis kelsey as a uh, taylor swift's boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say anything tight end nothing it is just uh, yeah, well, well he is he is <laughs> yeah um 
but uh, yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I mean, I had no horse in a race, so I, I, and I didn't get to see much of the first half because um, putting the kids to bed and whatnot, but um, it felt was, like the 49ers were just absolutely dominating the first half. Oh, that's how yeah. it felt to me. So what I did catch of the first half was very yeah. little. I it, just saw it, that. It just felt one-sided. It, it looks very one-sided. It, yeah. The fact that they got out t- un- down like 10 to three was, uh, I don't know. Like that's, that was the only they should have buried uh, them. Yeah. They should have buried, buried them. them. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, it, it just strikes me how, how one play here or there, like a punt going off a guy's foot, like mm. it, it really, the tiniest things changed it. The outcome, and then the next day, the media like the 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 story is so, you know, strong, right? Like you know, the criticism of one coach or mm-hmm. or or of a player, yeah. it's it's like if if one little thing had gone differently, like what they'd be seeing the next day is completely on its head. Yeah, I guess it didn't yeah, help I mean, that the players basically threw Shanahan under the bus. It's like we didn't know the OT yeah. rules. That didn't help. <laughs> Nah, I'm sure that's not nah. true, but that didn't help. Yeah, he may not have told them because they they didn't they, they didn't need to know certain it's guys. Don't need to know. Basis. Yeah, you, exactly. you, if I say yeah. you know kick, then you kick. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, to me, I mean, it's such a um, it's such a foolish thing to say that they didn't know. To, you just you play the game 100. percent Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you play 100. Yeah, percent Yeah, you, know, yeah, you, you don't, don't admit that on on on, on national TV either. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, hey guys, really appreciate you joining. Uh, great conversation on the Pam uh, stuff and uh, helping me uh, work out the the Nomos uh, combo. Uh, hey, chat, uh, chat, really appreciate your input and everybody who submitted pictures today uh, for the the presentation. Uh, really appreciate it again, guys. Have a great week, and uh, we'll see you next Sunday for Watch Soup. So we're going back to our Sunday date and then next Tuesday for a regular stream. Uh, Take care, all. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Good night.